manufacturer and uh, hotel-related stock on the growth and income radar this time around. Todd Bunton, our growth and income stock strategist, joins me now to talk about each of these opportunities. Let's take the manufacturer first. It's uh, kind of a plastics uh, manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. A. Shulman is the company. They, they uh, manufacture high-performance plastic compounds and resins mm -hmm. that are used in a variety of different end markets. Very economically sensitive companies, you can imagine, being yep. in the basic material sector. But the company just delivered a very solid beat on January 6th. And actually, a large percentage of the revenue comes from Europe, and that's actually started to improve for them. So that's actually been, been a, it's a growth driver, and analysts expect that to, uh, to be a growth driver throughout 2014. And in fact, management, after the beat, raised their guidance for 2014, which prompted analysts to revise their estimates higher, which sent it to a Zach's rank of two. And if you take a look at, con at, at estimates, I brought with me the agreement and magnitude mm -hmm. of consensus estimates. You can see those are both moving in the right direction. Now, those are the two biggest factors in the Zach's rank. And you can see that analysts, analysts have unanimously raised uh, their estimates for both this year and next year. And the magnitude of that, of that raise has been pretty decent. And that's why it sits at a Zach's rank of two. I see. And if you look based on consensus estimates, analysts expect about 18% earnings per share growth this year and 12% growth next year. So you got a good growth story here as long as the global economy uh, continues to grow at, at a decent pace. Again, a uh, large percentage of the revenue comes from Europe, so you'd want to keep an eye on that. Right. Uh, but North America is expected to grow as well. Good divvy here. And a good dividend, yep. They pay dividend that yields 2.3%. Uh, they've steadily increased that over the last decade at about a 4% compound annual clip. So uh, pretty shareholder-friendly company here. And, I, you know, if they can grow earnings at a double-digit clip over the next couple of years, I'd expect that dividend to continue to increase too. And all that at a fairly reasonable price. They trade about 15 and a half times 12 months forward earnings. That's roughly in line with its historical median. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're getting good growth and good income at a reasonable price here. There's a lot to like. Sounds good. The second company is actually a REIT yeah. that owns hotels. That's right. Yep. Pebble Brook Trust. Pebble Brook Hotel Trust. Uh, they have an ownership interest in 29 hotels throughout 10 states and D.C., mostly on the east and west coast, okay. um, which are, you know, are historically higher growth markets. Um, and you know what? The hotel industry has been improving over the last year. And, and if you look at an industry trends, analysts expect that to continue. You're seeing solid occupancy rates and higher uh, rates on rooms. And that's driving uh, a common metric called RevPAR, which is revenue yeah. per available room. Right. And Pebble Brook's definitely benefiting from that. And if you look at their uh, most recent quarter, they saw about a 6.2% increase in RevPAR. And that was despite the fact that they had uh, problems in the D.C. area during the government shutdown. And then they had a hotel in Miami that they were renovating. Right. They actually saw 11.5% growth on the West Coast. So very good uh, industry uh, tailwinds here for them. And if you look, analysts have consistently uh, raised their estimates over the last several months, really, for this company. Uh, you can see here in the price and consensus chart for both 2014 and 2015, sent it to a Zach's rank of one, which is a strong buy rating. Yeah, some big growth numbers there. Absolutely. If you look uh, based on uh, consensus estimates, analysts expect about 33% funds from operation growth this year and 31% growth next year. And funds from operation is basically earnings per share plus depreciation. They add back depreciation because, you know, you, they own a lot of real estate, obviously. Sure. And they, they depreciate that on their books, but it's not really a cash expense. Another good dividend. And a good dividend, Until yeah. Until where my attention goes, right to the <laughs> dividend line. Sure. Uh, they pay dividend that yields 2%. That's actually kind of low for a REIT. Um, you know, a lot of REITs right now are in the fours and fives, even some in the six percentile. But, you know, they still have good growth to kind of offset that. But, you know, 2 percent's nothing to, to sneeze at. That's, that's pretty decent. No, and they kidding? Yeah, they increased that by 33% last year. So if earnings are going to grow, I'd expect that dividend to continue growing. Mm -hmm. And all at a pretty reasonable price. They trade about 16 and a half times forward earnings. That's actually a, a slight discount to their historical median. So there's a little bit of value to go along with the, with the excellent growth and a solid dividend. All right. Well, um, you know, I always ask, do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. Check out other stock picks, stock picking strategies. Where? On our website, zax.com. Of course, where else would you go? If you're watching this out in syndication, get on over to the homepage and you can link to them right from there. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.